Hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, depending on whatever part of the world you're in. This is Gorgo2005, welcoming every one of you to the channel today. We have a small, intimate audience in here tonight, uh, 21 people uh, that I see presently in chat, and one in particular that I need to uh, give a warm welcome to one of my longtime subscribers, Mr. W. Norris, who comes in with these guys. Anyway, so thank you, Mr. W. Norris. Welcome along with your cows. Uh, please uh, go ahead and stable them outside, please. I don't want cow crap all over my house, but thank you. <laughs> thank you for being here. We appreciate it. We appreciate it greatly. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and I have some uh, fresh uh, uh, follows that I need to uh, shout out as well. We have um, Fanatic, F-A-N-N-A-T-I-C-K-K. -K. Fanatic uh, came in at the end of my prior stream before I had a chance to acknowledge him. Also, since then, we've got four more new followers. Vampiric Squirrel, Squirrel I should say, Vampiric Squirrel. And then there's Nick Bry 1107 then there's Hillside Robin, and also Radman9999. Thank you one and all for your follows on the Old Farts channel. We greatly, greatly appreciate the support. Now, we are sitting on 949 followers right now. We are only one away from our next follower goal of 950. So uh, we'll hopefully, over the course of tonight's stream, reach that 950, and uh, then we can set ourselves another goal and keep on inching up towards that 1K mark. That will be the uh, like a like a magic pill for uh, for uh, for this old guy to apply to Twitch, perhaps for becoming a full Twitch partner, which will bump up the uh, the game a little bit uh, for me and hopefully for you folks in the channel. So anyway. Let's go ahead and talk about what's going on tonight. We're going to do our usual Saturday shenanigans. We're going to take a look at my one main team. I'm basically ghost shipping uh, teams number two and three for now uh, until I can get myself um, Old Minerva9398. Good evening, sir. Good to see you. But we're going to take a look at my main team, which I'm basically going to keep on doing until I get them up to where I want them, and that's going to be basically diamond. Once we get them up to diamond, then uh, I can maybe feel free to start taking a look at the other guys. And we'll talk more about the reasons on why I'm doing it that way uh, uh, later on as we get more into this. But we are going to be opening up some packs. We have close to 80 packs alone on my main team to open up this evening. I have... Um, uh, been opening packs on my number two team as we move along, you know, trying to get, get them improved, but that's about all I'm really doing because I'm uh, concentrating most of my honest uh, attention on the main team, trying to uh, keep them afloat and keep them moving in the right direction. So 
well look at the, uh, look at my main team and uh, think about maybe taking a look at the other two teams though we probably won't even need to go there team number three which is my future theme team they are sitting on a pile of packs right now and uh, uh, once I do get the time and the opportunity to get over to them I want to start finishing up live Reds missions plus uh, try to pick up some historicals that uh, for Reds that used to play um, uh, in times past or people that uh, maybe large and uh, uh, large and uh, normally would play another uniform but were occasionally Reds I got to be watching out for them also and that's part of where my membership in the baseball reference website comes in handy that I'll be able to um, uh, rely on that if I'm not sure if a given player ever appeared in Reds history or if I have a question as to whether or not they were born and raised in the eight county Cincinnati metro area or if there's a question about whether or not they played college ball in the greater Cincinnati eight county metro area because um, I do know of some cards, uh, you know, from uh, from our uh, Perfect Team 23 experience, there are some cards that would qualify not only on the college front, but also on the born and raised in the area front. Uh, for example, um, one good card for me to look for now would be a live Andrew Benintendi. I don't know, I don't think that there's an historic version of Benny's card out there, but he grew up in this neck of the woods and um, went to Madeira High School, which is in the same athletic uh, 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 league as the Finneytown Wildcats, and that is the Cincinnati Hills League. It's a kind of a tight, closely knit league of team of schools, I should say, that are by and large pretty similar in their um, in their enrollment. You have uh, some schools that are maybe a little bit more populated than us and some schools that are less populated than us here in Finneytown. So anyway, we um, uh, 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 Benny, Andrew Benintendi, played for Madeira High School. And I got to see him play some high school ball when Madeira came here to visit uh, Finneytown. After I had heard, okay, there's this one kid that plays for Madeira. You got to see him. You got to see him. So I went to go see him, and I was not disappointed. He kind of wowed the place. He was uh, that good even way back then in the day. So I can't really say I knew him back in the day, but I can say that I saw him back in the day, and that was uh, good enough for me. So anyway, uh, uh, Andrew Benintendi would be one card that would qualify for my theme team. Jim Bunning, as already mentioned, would be, be one. He grew up in the area. And also Sandy Koufax would be on my theme team. If, if and when a decent uh, Koufax card comes out because Sandy Koufax played college ball here at the University of Cincinnati. So uh, there are several colleges that I can look up on Baseball Reference. There are, uh, uh, I have to go looking f f to find people that are born and raised in a given area. I have to go for an entire state's worth of content and look, uh, uh, look, I, I, I really can't say for sure how I plan to go about that yet, yeah, trying to verify or try to find out things about people that were born in this area that I had no idea about uh, prior to my research. So I do have a, a list of people you know that I, that I knew that grew up around here, like Andrew Benintendi for one, uh, live Josh Harrison that plays with the Phillies now. He's another uh, local product that went to uh, Princeton High School. Uh, there's also uh, the Reds newest catcher prospect and that would be Luke Maley. He grew up in Covington, K Kentucky. Also um, David Justice, who never wore a Reds uniform. He grew, also grew up in Covington, Kentucky. Luke Maley went to Covington Catholic High School and David Justice went to Covington Latin High School. Two separate, uh, I believe, private schools within the uh, 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 Covington, Kentucky uh, area there, which is part of the Cincinnati greater metro area. So yeah, I think that, that those two schools, I believe the Covington Latin and Covington Catholic are two separate 
Catholic high schools in Covington, but I got to do my research on that to make sure that Covington Latin is not a Covington public school because I'm I'm not really too sure on that. I haven't done a whole lot of research. I just know where the schools are located. Okay, so I, I barely know that much. So David Justice, Luke Maley, they could qualify. Um, Another guy that might be able to qualify if I ever need to get hold of his player card would be Walter Alston, who played college baseball one county up the road, up in Butler County, which is in the Cincinnati metro area, home of Miami University of Ohio, uh, which also employs one of my daughters as a tenured librarian up there. So, in fact, we just got to hook up with her and the rest of the family today. We had ourselves a family Easter get together uh, today that went from about uh, 11 o'clock until about four. Then we kind of broke up and went our separate ways. Wife and I uh, did some grocery shopping on the way home and made it home, got the groceries put away. Uh, I got some supper under my belt. She's got some supper under her belt and we are ready to roll for the rest of the evening. How do I feel in Reds in real life after the game? I might be in shambles. Well, uh, yes, I am kind of in shambles. I think that the, the team they're playing right now is pretty doggone good, and they are busy proving that point. So um, uh, uh, I, I don't know uh, too much because I hadn't been watching today. I, I know that last night was a real, real disaster. And I kind of figured that today would be the same. So I'm seeing Breeze 837 coming in and kind of confirming for me before I actually go out and do my research to see how my Reds in real life did. Well, forget how they're doing in real life right now. They had their shining moment already this season. They had their shining moment. They were leading the entire division at with a 3-1 and one record after four their first four games. They won th uh, two of three off the Pirates in the, in the opening day series. They lost opening day, but they came back to take the next two. And then the Cubbies came to town, and the Reds won the first game of the Cubs series. They lost the second game, but after they won the first game of the Cubs series, they were leading the division with a 3-1 and one record. I'd rather freeze everything in time right there, and that's how I'd like to remember them at this point. They could be three and four right now, for all I know, uh, and um, and they probably are. So uh, or three and five. I, I I haven't been keeping that close to track here lately because I've been busy working on uh, holiday related junk, uh, some involving uh, some musical festivities and some involving family festivities. So I do have a little bit of a life outside of OOTP which uh, is really part of the reason I'm playing the game right now the way that I'm playing it, and I'll explain that more once we get into it. But we'll get into that more after we come back from this ad break because the ad break will automatically take us into OOTP. So we'll go ahead and get that first ad break out of the way and taken care of, and we will be right back after this one-minute word from our sponsors. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back with you in just a minute, all 38 of you out there in chat. So catch you in a little bit. Okay, folks, we are back from the ads. So here I am sitting with my, uh, in bronze right now, Finneytown Flames. We're trying to work our way up to silver. 
and we've got a pretty good jump on a, a chance to make it to silver just strictly by existing. And I don't even have to think about the playoffs. But we'll get into that in just a moment. Why don't we, let's see, I'm waiting on this tournament to fire off down here. This number 77 down here at the bottom of the list, it's right now preparing. So if I wait for just a few more seconds, I can go ahead and spam my fourth and final tournament slot. And there it is as advertised. And now we can spam it and get done with that. Okay. I do, before I go in and look at the flames, I want to see this longest running tournament, this number 37, 7837, because I only just a few moments ago, just before the stream started, qualified. I thought I was looking pretty good because I went into a final of a, a bronze uh, double elimination with a best of three final. I went into that final undefeated with a, a four and O record. Okay. And I think I ended up losing the two games in the final that I needed to lose in order to get eliminated because I only got one pack out of it. I started the day with 73 packs after a 24 pack day yesterday. And uh, that 73 has since ballooned up to 80. Uh, one of those packs is a mission pack. I finished a mission uh, over the course of today and uh, there were five Twitch drops that hit. So that took me to six. And um, let's see, the, the mission pack, the five Twitch drops took me to six. And then I had a second place for a tournament uh, that just happened. So that took me to seven on the day and that brought me up to 80 that we're gonna be opening up here in just a bit. But I do wanna take a look at this number 37 to see if I'm close to qualifying for more packs here. Because you have to make it to a final in in these 16-team uh, term tournaments, especially the double elimination with the final of three. You have to make it to the final in order to get packs at all. If you don't, uh, if you don't uh, make it to the final, you don't get any packs. But that's one of the beautiful things about the 16 uh, 16 team tournaments is that they recycle extremely quickly. And take a look there. I am four and zero going into this final and I'm waiting to see who my next opponent is going to be so I am going to be in one more final so I've got at least one more pack coming in uh, over the course of the next uh, several minutes or so so uh, so I do have another pack cooking up I should be at least on 81 if not on 83 uh, by the time we get ready to rip up these babies so let's go in and get out of here and we'll get in to the main team and get to the main event, as it were. Okay. Okay. P okay, hang on a second. There's okay. Okay. Um, all right. I missed some chat. I have to run back and see it. Excuse me, please. Just a second. I need to do something here. Okay. Vanden applause. Okay. Hi, welcome to the channel. Good to see you in here. Okay. Okay. And uh, Breeze837 say he's got 46K now and he doesn't know what to do. Live missions are worthless and it's better to buy the reward cards. Hard to say. Hard to say on that front there, Breeze. I'm getting more out of it getting the missions done. I'm, I'm getting more out of it actually getting the missions done. And that's what, that's what my plan is for right now. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the congrats on whatever it was. I, I, I missed that. But wait until you see. Oh, you mean my final and maybe my pack. Okay. I got you straight. Thank you for that. <coughs> I appreciate the kind words. Always do. Always will. So uh, we wanted to go in here and take a look and see because last time I looked at this Flames team up here behind this hot, uh, Play Perfect Team button here, last time I was in there, we were riding a really, really hot streak. So let's get in there and see what be cooking with my flames. Because the last time I was looking, is it still running? It's still going. I just beat these guys down here, the Katie Costells. 
I think my streak may have broken. Did my streak break? I'm not so sure about that. Because I'm only 14 and a half games on them, up on them. I don't think that the streak is over yet. Let's take a look. Got to go to the standings to see this. <laughs> up here I am. Yep. I've won 13 games in a row. I am on the day. On the day. I am 1, 2, 15, and 1. I'm 15 and 1 on the day. Right here is the last sim from yesterday. The uh, game I played against GPT. Then I started playing the Mississauga Leaf Tours. Okay. And they're in my division, by the way. And I took the first two games today. That would be 10 o'clock a.m. and 10.30 a.m. About the time I was leaving. Then this loss hit at 11 a.m. That Those are all Eastern time times. And I have won 13 straight games since then. Okay. So I've, uh, the last time I really took a look, I was up 15 games on the Katie Costells. But they must have gained a half game on me during my off day. So that's, uh, that's why I was questioning, okay, did I lose one in here somewhere? But no, I didn't because I forgot I had an off day in there and they had a chance to gain some ground on me. And they did, only a half a game. But take a look back here in the league one more time. What do we see in front of my team name? We have clinched already. We are the first team, or I'm sorry, maybe the second or third team. The New England Riptide down here at 92 and 59. They have clinched their division. The Madison Mallards have uh, clinched at least a playoff spot. They don't have a division title tied up yet. And up here, the Oakville A's and the Gate City Pioneers, they have clinched playoffs, but they haven't decided between the two of them who is going to take the division championship and who's not. It looks like right now, Oakville with the 10 and a half game lead, that looks pretty safe. Just like down here, Madison with a nine and a half game lead over the Katy Ducks. I have to wonder out loud if the Katy Ducks, that, that, that's a reference to a town down in Texas, I do believe. Viv Rotney or VV Rotney is the manager of that team. And the Katy Costells that are in my league or my division run by Frank Bama 19. I'm familiar with Frank Bama 19. I've seen him around OOTPville quite a bit. But, okay. Breeze is saying that he used to buy packs when he played 21, okay. And you stop doing it because of drops. Okay, very, very good call there, Breeze. Yeah, uh, I, I don't buy packs with this team. I used to buy packs with my team packs only teams but that was back in perfect team 23 i'm not playing packs only anymore both of my alts can buy cards and do whatever they want to do with their perfect points but like i said before been ghost shipping a bit because and here's the big thing with the new structure of tournaments without the longer running tournaments the 32 teamers that can sometimes take you three hours before you find out whether you've qualified for packs or not. Okay. The, the tournaments cycle over so much quicker now as 16 team double elimination. Okay. You can get eliminated pretty doggone quick. And even if you make it to a further round, you can still get eliminated fairly doggone quick. So in order for me to stay fully spammed, with as many, as many tournaments running for my team as possible in order to win as many packs as possible, I'm focusing my efforts basically on keeping tournaments spammed and keeping my main team afloat. I haven't had too much of, uh, of a chance time-wise or opportunity-wise because I've got demands outside of the game that do eat up a little bit of time like my family gathering today, like uh, last night's uh, musical festivities. 
okay? I'm in two different performing groups, and they have rehearsals once a week. Uh, now, come end of May or beginning of June somewhere, all of that will uh, take a summer hike, and then I'll resume again in the fall, but uh, for right now, I'm still in the middle of my really, really busy season, especially with this being uh, a holy weekend, so to speak, if, uh, in the uh, Christian tradition that, um, no, this is when, uh, uh, well, uh, yesterday was the observance of uh, uh, Christ being crucified and, and laid in the tomb. And on the third day, which is Sunday, today right now is the second day. On the third day, which is tomorrow, that's when he rose again and was the uh, became the founder of a whole new uh, set of religious rules, if you will. Okay, <laughs> for those who uh, who uh, follow that certain uh, path of belief, and everybody has their own paths of belief or unbelief that the, uh, that you know they're perfectly free and well to follow. We welcome everybody in here. We don't care. Uh, we, uh, we reside in a no judgment zone when it comes to such affairs and uh, also with with politics you can agree with my politics or you uh, can agree to disagree with my politics but there again I don't care because I don't do politics on this channel or really in my basic online life I don't do that much with politics and what I do I, I I'm able to keep it to a degree that I'm not getting obnoxious and getting personal with people and getting really rambunctious. Okay, I try not to uh, over overdo things and overstate things and overreact to things. So, anyway, uh, this is what my my team is looking like, and right now they're looking pretty doggone good with a 13-game winning streak. We started out today not in that good a position because. The Mississauga Leaf Tours that you see uh, that I played here not too terribly long ago, they were ahead of me in the conference seating. The Al Allen's Wolf Pack here, they have always been leading the entire conference. These guys are on fire and they have been all season long. Though it looks like they're starting to falter a little bit because right now I'm only a half game in back of them in uh, in competing for the number one seed in the entire conference. Now, why is seeding so important in the conference? Let me show you why when we look at promotion and relegation. And right there, Torvar72, thank you so much for your follow on the channel. By my count, you should be follower number 950, but I did not see a banner go across anywhere that told me that we had reached our goal of 950. So did I lose somebody in the meantime? Let me go find that out real quick because I need I need to uh, get my act in gear here. Bear with me just a second, please. Okay, I'm gonna go here and we're gonna go there. And we'll just take a look at this and see what's cooking. So bear with me and we will tell you I made it! Yay! We got up to 950. Now our new goal is 960, because I, I had I had it set to automatically bump my my follower goal by 60 in case I reached 50. And doggone it, I reached 50, and now we have a new follower goal of 960. So we're really really tickled with that. So thanks one and all for your followers on the channel. We are inching ever so close to that magic 1,000 figure. Cannot wait to see it happen. Wait a minute, now what have I got here? What have I got here? Oh, I see what's going on, okay. I thought I was messed up, but no, I'm not messed up. I know better, because I'm inside the game. Okay, there I am in OBS, and I see that you're seeing what I see, so that is a good thing. That is a very good thing. So anyway, here I am sitting at 94 and 55, riding a 13 game winning streak and I'm 15 and one so far on the day. So I would dare say that things are looking good. Now here is why I'm so tickled to be in one of the top two seeds of the playoffs, if I can get there. That is top two seeds, I should say, in the entire conference. Because if I can earn one of those top two seeds, that means then that I get a playoff by 
to the division series round. And once you're in a division series, here's what that means. And I'm looking at promotion and relegation here to illustrate this. Only, he said, only the top eight teams in the playoffs make it to promotion up to silver. If I am one of the top two seeds in my conference, that means then I get automatically placed into a division series and I'm automatically one of the final eight teams still standing in the entire league, which means I am guaranteed a spot in silver. So you see now why I am trying so hard to maintain my distance, which right now I believe was what, six games? No, it looks like five games, or five and a half games over the Mississauga Leaf Tours. If I can stay with a nice cushion above those guys, they will have to go through the wild card round as the number three seed in the conference, and they'd have to win their way up to a division series in order to win promotion up to silver. But in, in the meantime, I think right now things are looking pretty good between me and the Wolf Pack down here that we're not looking too shabby when it comes to the top two seeds in the conference. Whichever one of us ends up on top doesn't matter. As long as we end up in the top two somewhere, then we both win automatic promotion to silver as I just illustrated. Okay, let's see what this latest sim has to offer. We'll bring it in and see what's cooking. Let's see, sitting on 80 packs still, and I got me my 14th win in a row. Color this guy happy. So we are, yeah, the streak is now at 14. We've won one more time. We beat Iron Maiden, a big hair, uh, a big uh, metal band, <laughs> big hair and big metal. Iron Maiden, oh, I see, they're the uh, uh, the Iron Maiden Wicker Men, okay? So they are last place in our division, and they are 34 and a half games out, and I just took my 14th win in a row off of these guys. So that does that give me any more cushion over the Mississauga Leaf Tours? Let's find out. Five and a half games still, okay? Five and one half games are still the distance between me and them. Now, how many more Sims do we have left to go? Let me go count them. Okay, so we've got counting today. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's gonna be, um, let's see here. That's gonna be uh, 8 p.m., 8.30, 9 p.m., 9.30, 10 p.m., 10.30, and then we get into 11, 11.30, 12, 12.30, 1, 1 1.30. So we have six Sims left in the month of October, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 left in the month of September. So 12 simulations left to play including off days, because I don't think I, I have any off days in those final 12 games. I don't. I go, I go straight from September 30th into October 1st, and I don't get a break. So that break uh, I had back here on the 23rd of September was my last off day for the entire remainder of the season. So with 12 games left to play and five and a half games in my lead, I'm going to think about this for a moment. I'd be thinking that if I have a combination of six, if I have a combination of six more wins and, and their losses, maybe seven, let's make it seven just to be safe. Let's say my magic number for clinching a top two seed in the conference will be seven. A combination of my wins and Mississauga losses that come up to seven should clinch me a spot in the top two seeds and get me that coveted 
first round buy, so I don't have to go through the, the wild card round, and as such, automatically win promotion up to silver, which has been my goal since the get-go this season. Okay, Before we go in and open up packs, and before we get into a little bit more in-depth look of who I've got on my team right now, because I picked up some more cards since Wednesday's stream, let's jump out to that number 37 tournament and see how I be faring in the finals there because I have qualified for the finals of this number 37 up here at the very top of my tournament list. Let's go in and see what be cooking with them because I want to see some more packs roll in. At least one will, is guaranteed to come in and look at I won the first game and I've got five and a half minutes until the next sim comes in. I'm playing the Beiji Bai who I used to see quite a bit in Perfect Team 23 uh, if that they were inside my division once back in back in 23. So I remember that team pretty, pretty well. And I'm competing with them in this particular uh, bronze league. Pro Teams 22. Yep, that's the manager. So I'm playing, my bronze team is playing their bronze team. Or no, I take that back. We're in a tournament. It's a bronze tournament, but that team is not necessarily there. I have to go to managers and rankings to find out what league Proteins 22 is currently in. So I have to go to the universe to do that because I'm a naturally curious kind of old fart. Let's go and look these guys up. So I am looking for Proteins. And there's Proteins 22. They are in iron right now. They're one level behind where I'm at. I'm in bronze. They are in iron, and their record so far in iron was 104 and 58. But it, it, I gotta wonder, it it uh, let's see that 104 and 58. They're currently in an iron league. That 104 and 58, I'm ready to bet, was last season's record when they were in stone. Okay, they were in the playoffs and they obviously qualified for promotion up to iron. Okay. They are currently in an Iron League. There they are. And I'm in bronze 233, is it? Bronze 233. Yeah, I'm not in there where I can see it. But anyway, they've got 50 missions done. And they fly under a Chinese flag. The Beijing Bai. Not terribly surprising. Now let me go back one more. And there they are. And I take a look here. Oh, no. They're not flying under a Chinese flag this game cycle. Now, back in Perfect Team 23, I seem to remember that they were flying under a Chinese flag, but now they're flying under an American flag. So it makes me wonder a little bit. Uh, is someone playing around with the old fart's eyes or maybe trying to mess up his perception? Is somebody gaslighting me? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't care. Like I say, uh, uh, in this channel, we reside in a no-judgment zone. So... I've got uh, about three minutes left to go before I uh, find out how we do here. But in the meantime, while we're waiting on that to happen, let's go ahead and jump into the team and take a look at my cards and see what I'm playing right now and why I am so confident of success in this particular bronze season. Okay? Because I've been picking up cards right and left. And we'll explain the thought process as we take a look at who I've got and who I got rid of. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, here we go. Here's who I've got on my Flames team. Okay, Josh Johnson, who is a mission reward. Okay, I've added him very recently, and he was a very, very good pickup for me. And I need to show you why. Josh Johnson is such a good pickup. I need to go back to the main screen to show you this because I believe it may still be in my achievements. It's not. It's not. Let me go to the team achievements. Okay. And that's going to be. Wait a minute. Scores and schedule. No, not there, not there, not there. Is it over here? Oh, achievements and trophies. Here we go. You're going to find. Take a look right here. Right here. 
this domination achievement. August 23rd, Josh Johnson, nine innings pitched. He threw a no-no, a complete game no-no. My first one of the Perfect Team 24 cycle. So that Josh Johnson card is worth its weight in gold for right now. 108 pitches. And look who it was against, the team that was chasing me in the division race. So I was really proud and pleased of how Josh Johnson acquitted himself in this particular matchup. So yeah, that got me 3,000 perfect points. It normally would be a 2,000 perfect point achievement, but since I have membership in Perfect Team Plus, you see that up here? Perfect Team Plus member up here to the left of the Submit Team button. That means I get a one and a half time multiplier on all of my achievement points. So that 3,000 that I earned would otherwise have been 2,000 if I was not a Perfect Team Plus member. So that's one of the perks and one of the nice perks of Perfect Team Plus. That plus you get all those different ballparks. I've gone through I've gone through it fairly extensively on streams. I'm not going to take the time tonight to do it because we're going to concentrate on some other efforts here online. But um, um, you get extra ballparks to choose from. You get uh, a one. You get different multipliers for different benefits. They don't stack on top of each other. But uh, whenever you go to buy, say uh, more subscriptions. What that does, all, the only thing it does is it extends your subscription time to when it expires. It extends it 30 days for each subscription that you buy for $7.99, or I'm sorry, $6.99 per month plus tax will generally round up to close to eight bucks, somewhere between $7.50 and eight bucks. So for me, that rounds up to eight. So that's what, uh, that's what uh, the game costs, or Perfect Team Plus costs per month and it's uh, well within my budget and I've explained it again a number of times. Uh, a streamer that I've been following for over two years, that, uh, that, that is, it's an older dude, he's a little younger than me. I'm, I'm old enough to be his daddy because he just turned 50 and I'm already 69 years old so I'm uh, biologically old enough to make it uh, to, to be his dad if it absolutely had to be called for but uh, uh, due to DNA and, and other things like geography and <laughs> and family mix-ups, you know, none of that ever having happened, you know, there, there's no chance of me actually being his daddy, but I am 19 years older than him, so that gives you a, a, about a generation, because if they consider 20 years to be a generation. But I followed that guy's channel for 20, uh, for uh, oh, well over two years, and um, he recently got a full-time job, so he ended up stopping all of his memberships and refunded everybody their money. So the five bucks a month I had been paying to him, I just add three more bucks to it or 250 or whatever, and I get my perfect team plus paid for. And so I can afford the two to three extra dollars per month. That's not a big deal. But anyway, I've got a tournament I need to spam. So let's jump, jump out of here. We're gonna go get to that tournament and slot and uh, that just opened up and we are going to fill it and 37 is still running. Oh wait, I'll bet I did not win the next game. I am now in a, a finals elimination situation, which means uh, the other team that I was playing, the Beijing Bai, they must have won the next game, okay? They must have won the next game. So we're, we're facing off elimination or Maybe uh, we're either going to get one pack or we're going to get three. I know I'm going to get something. So it's going to be one pack or three. And to the winner gets three. And to the loser of the next game goes one. So we have another ad break coming up. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll jump right back into the team and take another look at the rest of my cards. And then after that, we'll go open us up some packs. Okay. So we'll be right back in a minute after ad break number two with these words from our sponsors. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back.
OK. Seeing all kinds of different strategies in chat, and I'm loving what I'm reading here because uh, everybody's offering up advice to Breeze on how he should spend his 46K. Cheese truck with a suggestion to buy 46 packs because packs are fun. They are fun, but it depends on your definition of fun. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Twan LX2000 says he buys up existing iron and bronze non lives while everyone is collecting lives to auto finish future missions. It's fun to look for the market values. Yes, it's very fun to look at the market values. Very much so. Torvar72. <laughs> The, uh, the original zombie. Okay, there you go. If you believe in the apocalypse. Hey, and there's Brent3232. Good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. Always good to see you, as always. Okay, and Torvar72. Thank you for your follow. I appreciate it. Do I use custom settings? Uh, uh, if I could ask you there, Torvar, in what context are you talking about with custom settings? Are you talking about sliders? on strategies or uh, what in what context are you talking custom settings if you could provide that for me please i can answer your question better while i'm waiting on him to come up with an answer oh franchise settings um i don't play franchise mode i do not play franchise mode i play perfect team because the, uh, playing Perfect Team and getting immersed in Perfect Team is immersive enough for me. Franchise mode is a, a, a rabbit hole that would suck me in totally and I would have time for nothing else other than the game. And I, I want to be able to spend my time elsewhere than the game. Okay, There are other games I play. There are other people I, I value enough that I, I go in and spend time with them. But I feel that... yeah. Franchise mode is something I, I, I've never really gotten into because Perfect Team satisfies my needs practically perfectly. I mean, like um, uh, up until this particular game cycle where I've been able to, to budget my time in such a way that uh, there's a good balance between gaming and real life. Gaming and real life. And now, since I'm having to spam so much more, if I even think about franchise mode on top of all the spamming that I'm doing just in order to win packs that I can open up on stream, okay, that's uh, uh, that's another picture altogether. But I'm doing what I need to do to keep my game going and to keep my team going and to keep those packs run, running in to, to my uh, in basket. I have to have those uh, those uh, uh, those packs in or in order to play as an otherwise free-to-play team. I, I invest a little bit of money up front in the season, but after that, it's, it's free-to-play for the rest of the run. I don't invest any more money. Now, I have been advised by some of my grandkids that they may be wanting to pick me up some more perfect points, but they'll pay for them by way of Steam. I'll, I'll get a Steam key because they don't have the OOTP key. I tried giving them the OOTP license stuff uh, so they can go and buy perfect points elsewhere but no it's not it, uh, uh, it seems like uh, that doesn't work too well for them so they're going to be doing steam keys if they wanted to gift me something for my for my team and I you know I bless them I love them to death I got to spend time with eight uh, five eight five of my eight today tourney spamming is exhaustive now Brennick 1107 has hit it right on the freaking nose it used to be tourney spamming was something that you could do as the opportunity presented itself. Now the opportunity is constantly presenting itself. And especially with Perfect Team Plus, I've got not just three tournament slots I spam, I've got four. I've got four. Four. Four tournaments I need to keep running at any given point in time. Because you can't win them if you're not in them. <laughs> and Brennick says he still has a job and I'm retired okay <laughs> he has a job he has a job ah, I feel for you Brennick I really 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 feel for you but I'm just trying to keep things uh, running as a full-time retired person okay <laughs> so anyway that's enough complaining I'm, I don't really mean to complain it's just a different landscape now and it's taking some getting accustomed to, 
and I'm still in that learning curve of, of trying to achieve the right balance for me for uh, for ga gaming versus real life and uh, right now I'm, ha I'm having a little bit of a struggle but I will I promise you I will reach a point of of um, uh, of a decision where like maybe I don't spam quite so much while you know, like every waking moment I'm spamming I might have to make some trade-offs okay like today was a very very good trade-off I spammed my four slots and then I went off and left the computer for a while for several hours while I spent time with family I came back started spamming again got uh, went out to the kitchen made myself a little bit of supper and then came back ate my supper while I was getting ready for the stream seven o'clock fire off the stream and and here I've been ever since so if I'm not streaming the game I'm I, and I'm still playing the game while I stream the game okay so you get the idea but I have an idea that when 10 o'clock or 10 30 rolls around tonight I may not get to stick around to see rich stream tonight he is scheduled a stream starting about 11 or so I may not make that I may or I may not make it it all depends on on how much energy I feel like I still have at the very very end of the day because right now I'm, I'm starting to drag a little bit so I don't I, I can't even start to imagine what 11 p.m. Eastern time is going to be like so yeah because I, I spent a lot of time and a lot of energy with uh, five of my eight grandkids today and I'll tell you that requires some energy I had I, I had a little bit of an energy deficit I expended a lot of it <laughs> and that, there hasn't been much resting time except for you no know, sitting down here in this office chair comfy cushy office chair so I won yep there you go BD crow I won I won hey I won I won that that final game yay so I picked up three more packs I'm sitting on 83 packs all right thank you for bringing that to my attention whoa yes cerebes my first and only win so far of the day so if you want to ever see how I do in terms of winning because we're just now completing week number two of go live on uh, perfect team 24 go to managers and rankings sometimes now you can put in the first six positions of my usernames and that's that I if I go without the number if I go without the number two then you get other stuff like there's some teams out there called the Gorgons and you get them too but I'm looking for my teams and they're readily identifiable by this little snippet so I go there take a look I have won 58 tournaments since starting up since tournaments became a live thing at the beginning of two months two two Mondays ago okay the beginning of the first league week that's when tournaments went live yet I had to be outside of entry pool and inside of a real league in order to start entering tournaments so there we are I've got 58 tournament wins I have made playoffs my previous season back in iron I, I, I made it to playoffs I did not win an iron trophy but I did win promotion because from iron up to bronze the top 10 teams got promoted so that's how I was able to get promoted up to up to uh, bronze because my record there I had the best record in the entire iron league at 101 and 61 and I got beat out in the conference finals I won my division series but I got beat out in the final four to, to, to determine the World Series participants and I was not sadly one of them but anyway I got pushed up to bronze here I am now with a decent record and I've got 58 tournament wins under my belt and this particular week's cycle is not done yet it won't be done until tomorrow night or whatever when the final whistle is blown at the end of the bronze what is it what's my league what's my league 233 I think yeah 223 bronze 223 after the World Series trophy is won for bronze 223 then I can start looking forward to 
uh, my first season in silver in Perfect Team 24. Now, going back to look at my team so that I can brag up on these guys a little bit. I only took you one place. I took you to Josh Johnson, the first one on the list, because he threw me a no-no just uh, very, very recently. Okay? Come on. I said, show me my roster. There we go. Okay. There underneath of him in my starting rotation is live Carlos Rodon. I only have a handful of live cards left on my roster. I'm busy trying to get the live cards the heck out and go with historics 100%. Because uh, those of you who are fairly new to OOTP, maybe you know, maybe you don't know. Live cards don't perform nearly as well as similarly rated historic cards. Like if you get 100 live and compare it to a perfect uh, uh, historical, the perfect historical is most of the time, in fact, you might as well say practically all the time, going to outperform the live card with a with a similar rating okay this live Carlos Rodon is eventually going to find his way over to my bench but for right now he's the, he's the highest rated pitcher that I've got I've got another good one in here in this Corbin Burns but he's also live okay he's a 96 live who else do I have in here that's a live card Spencer Strider is a live card Sandy Alcantara is a live card. Down here, Vlad Guerrero Jr. is a live card. Everybody else on my team is an historical card. So I'm picking up historical cards from doing missions because the mission rewards uh, 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 provide me with a way to get the reward and work my way up the uh, the latter in terms of toppers and I still do fairly well instead of instead of trying to do the one route that has already been espoused here I, I try to go the more patient route instead of buying cards outright I want to complete missions and get those missions done I'm a, I'm a little bit of what you might call a completionist in that regard okay so that's that and Brennick 1107 is saying we're playing together in the 78-78 tournament. Oh, nice. Good luck to you. Good luck to you there, Brennick. Let's take a look at that 77-78 after I'm done looking at the rest of my team. Okay? Because here I've got Live Strider. Frank Tanana is a mission reward. We picked him up. He's He's been a good one. Wilbur Wood was another mission reward. We, we added him not too terribly long ago, a 95 historical. Alcantara and Burns are live cards. Chris Carpenter was a mission reward, historical. Sergio Romo, historical, from the Giants. Dave Steeb was my most recent add-on. Got him just before the stream started. That was the one mission pack that uh, that I had won just before stream time started. So Dave Steeb replaced, look at over here, he replaced Di Live Diamond Garrett Whitlock, who was my lowest rated diamond pitcher. So Garrett Whitlock got kicked out with his 90 card by a 91 historical. Luis Tiant, another mission reward, another historical. Gary Lucas at a 92, again, a mission reward, historical, he's there. The only gold card I have left in my entire lineup is right here with gold 88 a mission reward Thurman Munson. The late Thurman Munson. He is in here still because I don't have another catcher card that can supplant him. Now I've got some live cards here like Tyler Stevenson and Will Smith that are somewhat similarly rated if not higher rated. Thurman Munson's historic by gum, and he's going to start before either one of these two dudes down here, these live cards, even though I have a particular fond spot in my heart for Tyler Stevenson because of his Reds affiliation, obviously. So Tyler Stevenson is a good, 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 good card, but not good enough to make this team over here on the left-hand side of the ledger. Jeff McNeil is my last live card. Everybody else in my lineup is hysterical 
or historical, whatever you want to call them. So I've got what? Four cards up here. Rodan, Strider, Alcantara, Burns. And then down here in the pl playing positions, I got Vlad Jr. and I've got Jeff McNeil. So I've got six live cards left on my roster. So I'm, I'm still busy knocking them out of here. Now, got another sim done. Let's see, can we extend our winning streak? I want to see that winning streak go up. So that it knocks another one or two off of my magic number to qualifying for a spot. There is my loss. I, I got the thousand point achievement with a 50% buff. So I got 1,500 perfect points for losing after 14 wins in a row. Okay. So Iron Maiden found a chink in my armor and they ended up beating Josh Johnson that just recently threw a no-no for me. So yeah, he's now standing seven and four with a 2.67 ERA. So yeah, he got beat up a little bit today uh, in opposition to his uh, other recent outing that I showed you where he pitched a complete game no-hitter. So that, that, hard, that card could run hot and cold, you can tell. So anyway, let's go see about that 7878 that uh, Brinnick 1107 is talking about. We also need to spam another tournament because I won one in the interim. So let's see here. And there's my reward pack for the day, which again, with Perfect Team Plus, that one pack turns into two. So I will be sitting on a higher number. I now have 85 to open up. That means, okay, 85. And I started the day with 73. I picked up 12 packs today, barely from doing anything, from doing uh, from doing tournaments, from doing missions, and from doing drops. Okay, I've got my drops in there. So I've got two tournaments to spam. Oh, 78, 78 is dead. Okay, let's find out. Let's find Brinnick in here somewhere. I want to find out where where Brinnick is, and if he's the team that beat me. Congrats. <laughs> okay, let's see. I lost both of my games. So who was I playing here? The Marble Mallards. SD Kick. Then up here, this team that I played and lost to. Early Cell. Brinnick, what's your team? <laughs> Brinnick, what's your team? I need to look them up. Because they obviously, I, we, I didn't make it far enough to even see who was what. Okay, I'm looking at the tournament team tree. Okay, so Brinnick, which one are you? I don't think you're the Arlington Pugs. Oh, you're the Shepherd Pack, okay. Hang on with me just a second. I'm looking for the Shepherd, shepherd Pack. Hmm, if I can figure out a logo, the Shepherd Pack. I can't tell from a logo. I don't think that's them. EDH? I don't think so. That's Tin Land. Okay, the Wood Ducks. Okay, let's go through these teams. Montreal, Blue Devil, Lebo, Lebo Blue Devils. Okay. Cats, it's not going to be them. It's not going to be Cats. This is Pony Boy Curtis. It's not going to be the 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 uh, the uh, herders. Okay, let's see. Alt. Let's see. That's early cell. That's the Altoona Mountain Cities. Okay, we're gonna find you in here. Oh, they might be down in a lower thing, and maybe I find them over here. Okay, because I can only see so far. There, uh, there is not enough room to show you all 16 teams over here on this side. So SVM, South Valley Marooners, that's not them. What's your logo look like, Brennick? Oh, you're the B? You're the B? Okay, hang on a second. You're the B. Is that a B? I don't think. Let me see. I can't tell if that's a B. Oh, the letter B, the letter B, okay. The Belmont Biscuits? 
Now that doesn't look like them. A A B D B. Oh B D B B B B. This B here. You are the Beach Grove Shepherd Pack. Okay, I got you straight. Nick Bry, 1107. Okay, I can probably remember that. Okay. So your uh, logo is the same as a team that I've seen around OOTP for quite some time. You ever heard of the Jack Pine Savages? They are somewhat legendary in OOTP lore for uh, all of the achievements that they have brought forth to the, fr the, the front of the game for folks to see. The Beach Grove Shepherd Pack uses the same logo as the Jack Pine Savages. So anyway, it looks like you are still a running. B -d -b -d -b. So yes, you are still in the running. So good luck, uh, uh, Brennick. We hope to see you or Brian Nick, I, I guess sh I should say. Yep, yep, yep. Nick Bry or Brian Nick, okay. Or is that Bree, Bree Nick? I don't know. Because <laughs> I know that B-R-I-D-A-V calls himself Bree Dav. Okay. So if I use his pronunciation, you would be Bree Nick. Okay. You have two teams in here. Okay. Good luck. Good luck to you. Nice. Nice. Okay. What's your other team? What's your other team in here? Brian? Brain? Is it Brain or Brian? Can't tell because I'm, I'm missing here. You have another team in the same tournament? Oh, okay, not in oh, not in this tournament. Okay, I'm with you now. I, I see, I see. Okay. Oh, so is Brian the name of uh, the Jack Pine Savages manager, his real name? I'm trying to figure out where your Brian comes in. Or is that a mistyped brain? Because I can see you in chat. In the meantime, I'm going to jump back to my team and go through some more of the cards. Okay, I still have to spam tournaments. Oh, it's full. Gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. Okay, but in the meantime, we can look at the rest of my team. Oh, bro, bro Nick. Bro Nick, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay. Got it. Alrighty. So, anywho, we were looking at my lineup, and you can see how proud I am of this outfit that we are all the way down to two perfect cards, one gold card, and 23 diamond cards. This lineup is diamond loaded to say the least and I'm loaded for bear getting ready to run up to silver. Most of the other teams in this league can't boast a lineup like I possess at the moment. I'm kind of proud to say. I do have the Joe DiMaggio down here. He was the mission reward. I picked him up. And Lefty O'Doul was a drawn card, a fantastic draw for me. He's done very, very well in left field with that with the 70 defense. George Stone was another terrific pickup because wait, oh, I got to show you this card. If you've not seen this George Stone card for a 95, it slaps. It absolutely slaps. Look at the BABIP on this thing. The BABIP on this thing. 109 BABIP. Okay. No power. 97 contact versus 63 power. You're damn right. He's at 109 BABIP overall. Heck yes. Heck yes. He doesn't have the best eye or the best avoid K. But when he does make contact with the ball, which seems to be fairly often given his contact rating, he hits the ball well. How's he doing in terms of average? He's right now carrying a 310 batting average from my boys. And his OPS is sitting at a nice healthy .888. Love to see that. Absolutely love to see it. And look at the value on this card. For a diamond card that's not in the mission yet, 14400 you might as well say. He's got a really, really nice L10. So, yeah. Where base value for a, for a diamond card is 4 k he's sitting in at more than three and a half times. Uh, let's see, I'd say three and a half times that 
that uh, 4K mark, okay? So that George Stone was a nice draw for me. So I drew him. Lefty O'Doul was another draw that I got that was really, really decent. Ellis Burks, I believe, was another draw, yes. Uh, Joe Tinker is a mission reward. Ken Caminiti was the topper for the level or live level one missions. Once I got all 30 teams completed for, for live level one, I earned the Caminiti. Now I'm working my way up to the level two live topper, which is, oh gosh, I forgot who the guy is. Let's look at, uh, look at some missions here and we'll figure out who that other topper is. It's a good one. Okay. Let me go in title order. This will tell me something. Okay, so we are looking for live level two. Or, okay, live two complete. Live two. Oh, there we go. Complete. Johan Santana. Yes, yes, yes. I thought it was a pitcher, but I forgot which one. I can win. Johan Santana. If I finished all the rest of the live missions, and I've only got four divisions left to do. Okay, so of those four divisions left, how many teams do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more teams to go. I and once I get those eight teams completed, I'll get these four divisions completed. And once I get those four divisions completed, then I get hold of that Santana card. And I am prognosticating that maybe sometime when I'm up in silver, will I end up doing just that. At least that's my aim for right now. Not promising anything, but that's what I'm shooting for. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Bronick. Bronick. Brynick. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm just mis I'm misreading and, and you may be mistyping, but uh, we're having a little bit of a cross up, but uh, it's no big deal. Like I said, I'm in a no judgment zone, so uh, we're fine. We're fine with it. OK, so back to the team. Because of all these diamonds that I have, I've got Buster Posey starting it at the uh, catcher. Look at these two cards here. Vlad Jr., 97 live. And I've got this Felipe Alou, who looks really hot. But one is a right-handed batter, and the other is a right-handed batter. So what the heck is a mother to do with two right-handed batters? I think we make them take turns. And I think what I need to do, and I ha I've been meaning to do this, but I haven't really done it yet. But I'm going to take, instead of if starter tired, I'm going to go every third game and swap these two dudes and give Felipe more of a chance to hit because look at what he's doing. He's batting 291, same as Vlad Jr. 291 averages that they're sporting. Okay, so I'm not ashamed of that at all. So let me get in here against lefties. Oh yeah, I do have a Felipe starting here. Oh, it's, Vlad is down there as the DH. That I mistook that look. So I'm gonna make this every third game then Vlad Jr. gets a chance to start at first. And I think the reason that I did it this way is because the splits, the two card splits versus lefties, showed me that uh, Felipe Alou needs to be my starter against lefties. And and uh, live Vlad Jr., not so much. Okay, we're ready to take ad break number three. And then when we come back, I think we're about ready to start opening us up some packs. So let's go ahead and do ad break number three. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Please stay tuned for this one minute break. Okay, be right back.
Okay, gang, we are back in the saddle again after the ads have completed. I've got a couple of news items over here. Let's see what the news items have to say. Oh, uh, weekly top power rankings. While I was on that 13-game win streak or 14-game win streak, so I, I was first in the power rankings for a couple of weeks, and I had been officially crowned the division champion up here in this news item. So that is pretty much that. Let's get back out here to the Perfect Team home screen. And we got us 85 packs to open up, of which 12 have arrived today only. So I would dare say it's about time we take a look and see what's in there. Okay? Do you think it's time? I think it's time. In fact, I know it's time. Okay, let's open up pack number one and hope we have some good Gorgo luck running with this particular set of pack rips. And what I got here was a bunch of live cards. Did Justin Dunn? Okay, I've, I've, I've seen more than one of him. But I've got a live Luke Rayleigh. He's a first timer, so we keep him because he helps bring my Tampa, uh, Tampa level two up to 86%. So that's a good little pickup there. What about Ethan Small? I think I've got, uh, yeah, I've got Milwaukee done. Do I have Detroit done? Yes, I have Detroit done. So I don't want to look at him. What about Pittsburgh? I think I have them done. Yes, Pittsburgh is done. In fact, I have the division, the uh, division topper for them. Okay, and I know that Justin Dunn and the rest of the Reds are done. Let's keep on a moving here. We are looking for silver dupes of any variety, either live or historic to make sure that they are duplicate or non-duplicate. And we have our first gold of the day. What's hiding out and back here? Hey, we got us a live Evan Phillips. Okay, not too shabby, but this guy is a dupe. I'm gonna sell him. Anybody out there that needs an Evan Phillips card, be on the lookout because you're gonna get the best price on the market once I put this card up. Okay, gonna take a look at him. Someone wants to sell or some, uh, wants to buy him for 1004. But here, someone wants to sell him. It looks like for fifteen hundred. There's a fifteen hundred there. Okay. So if I come back to here, no, no, no. I don't have. I, I wish I had a refresh pack data button here in the sell order. That might that might be a something to ask for for a future mission. Okay. But anyway, I think what I'm going to do, based on what I'm seeing here, I'm going to put this card up for a cheap twelve. 99 if I type in the right numbers, I'm dangerous. I'm already dangerous. I know that but this card's going up for 1299 that paltry sum will get you a an Evans Phil Evan Phillips card for the Los Angeles Dodgers live missions Okay to help move them along and these cards can be Expensive, okay, go get him if you need him. He's out there for 1300 practically, okay, go get him now, 82 packs to go. And these are all live cards. Luke Weaver with my Reds. Okay. Let's keep on a moving. Yeah. Oh, histor oh, I got me a bunt card. We got us a bunt card. Okay. We got us a bunt card. First, uh, is this my first one or second one? I think it's my, it's my first one on this account, but I think it's my second altogether which means I'll be getting another email with another code for some more goodies, I hope. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if it's one code per account or one code per user or per license. It's either one per account or one per license. I can't remember. Anybody got a feel on that? Tino the Bambino. Okay. Perfect time. I wish there were Rome 3C. Okay. I wish, I wish. Okay. So anyway, this is Tino Martinez, silver card, and we're keeping him for right now. We could probably sell him off for some good money. What's this card worth? He's worth 3K? Hmm. Huh. 
Well, let me go see first if I'm going to get a, 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 a goodie pack out of this card. If I don't get a goodie pack out of this card, then it's all right. We'll, we'll uh, do something with this card that may not otherwise be achievable. Okay, keep on a moving. More live cards. Craig Biggio's Progeny there, Kavan. Okay, Jansen, you're junk. Okay, let's keep going. Hey, another silver. Richie Hebner is this one. Nice looking silver card. So we're hanging on to him. Historic silver with no place to go. Let's keep going. The luck is rolling fairly good. Fairly, fairly good. Hey, okay, nothing here though. Can I see something nice? Yep, the luck is definitely running good. That's two straight packs for Huascar Brazoban. Okay, let's keep going here. Hey, Odalis Perez, let's go. Okay, all righty. Gold 80, Odalis Perez, we are hanging on to you. First time to the collection, good sir. So go over and have a seat on my bench and don't let the splitters hurt your butt, okay? 76 packs, here we go. Live cards, all, okay? Nothing really new here. I don't know why, but I'm kind of sick and tired of that music. Oh, good. It decided to finish. Just as I said, I was getting sick and tired of it. Okay. I'm going to find out the name of that thing and kill it dead inside of Pretzel Rock. Okay. Uh, nothing new here. Let's keep on going. Live cards are plenty, but nothing of interest. No silvers even. Let's keep going. Rogers Hornsby, 66. What's his defense like? at second base or third base only 65 defense that might be an otherwise tasty looking card to try but probably have some trade-offs between batting and defense okay nothing new here Lourdes Guriel jr. for okay here's a dupe I can sell that's a silver are you ready for this one, folks? He is going to help you get the Houston, or I'm sorry, the Arizona Diamondbacks missions done. Okay, I've already got my versions of those missions done. Let's see if this card here that's got an L10 in the 400 range, if he can help you out. We're going to put him up for a good buy price here. I think we're going to put him up for 366. 366 is what this Lourdes Guriel Jr. is going to go for, okay? Someone wants to sell him for $544. They're trying to make the L10 uptick a little bit, but no, I'm going the opposite way. We're going to make the L10 downtick if we're good with the sale, and I think we will be, okay? Selling this card, and he's up for grabs. Anybody that needs that Guriel, go get him. Best price on the market. Now, oh, first diamond of the day. Hmm, what tasty morsel is found in back of this curtain here? What is it? It's a live Brandon Woodruff, and this guy is probably going to play on my uh, main team because his 98, even though it's a live card, he's going to beat out another live card for a spot on the pitching staff. So Brian, uh, uh, Brandon Woodruff, welcome to the team, sir. We will be signing you to a big league contract very soon. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pack. Nothing new here. Gary Lavelle, my first build a lineup card. Let's go. Let us go. Look at the L10 on that sucker. Somebody wants to, uh, okay, they've been selling him for in the 4,000 range. Somebody wants to sell him for 4.4. I'm keeping this one, folks. We be keeping this. That's my very first build a lineup for Perfect Team 23. And I'll try to remember that. Gary Lavelle is my man. Okay, let's keep on a moving. Diamond card. Yeah, the luck is really flowing today. What else do we have hiding out here? Live Taylor Ward. Aha! I had a, a mission going on in the Bunt, the Tops Bunt app on my, on my mobile phone. And Taylor Ward popped up as one of the last two cards that I needed to complete a 330-card set. 
and by the time I, I, I uh, got myself down to one card, he was the one card that I drew that got me down to one last card and I was able to trade to get that last card. Very thankfully, and I completed the set that Taylor Ward was part of. So anyway, this is a duplicate. We're gonna sell him and let's see what we can sell him for. It looks like he's going for four point, a little less than 4.4. Someone wants to sell him for 45.55 and 4001 is the bare minimum. We're gonna put him up, I think for 41.99. 4,199 perfect points is the asking price for this Taylor Ward card that you may or may not want for missions and or live card work on your team, okay? This card is now up for sale. Go get him if you need him. I can use the revenue. Okay, Daniel Hudson, Historic Silver, and he's a first timer to the collection, so we keep this guy. He is gonna help. He moves Los Angeles's uh, the Dodgers mission up to 76% now. That's really, really, really good. Okay, so we're keeping Daniel Hudson. Okay, next pack, please. And nothing here. Keep going. Okay, nothing new there. Scott Spezio, good looking bronze card. Keep moving. Nothing here. Keep moving. Or here, all live cards. Eli Marrero, okay, decent looking card. What about Tommy Conley? Okay, he, we keep him because he keeps the Yankees alive for me to the tune of 78% now. I think that's two historic Yankee silvers we've gotten in that help the cause. Okay, Christopher Morell. Ooh, tasty looking shortstop card for Mr. Morell. Since he is that, okay, we're gonna sell this one. This one's a duplicate. So if you need this morale card to help you get the Cubs missions done, and he's, I think he's also, no, he's not in another mission. I thought I read one there, but I read wrong. So this card looks as if it's got an L10 of a thousand, a little over a thousand, and someone wants to sell him for 1198, and someone wants to buy him for 405, we're going to go somewhere in the neighborhood of $7.99. $7.99 will get you this silver Christopher Morell, okay? He is going out on the market very soon, and he is now there. He's gone. I realize now I could have sold him for more than that. I could have sold him for quite a bit more than that, but chose not to, okay? The morale card is out of here, so we are going to be looking at one more pack. 61 to go, all told. Smoltzy! Hey, hey, hey. Good to see him. But everybody else is, is an Aussie leech. Red's card there. Let's see. Nothing much there. He's a first timer, so we keep him. George Davis's bronze mission. Let's go. Okay. Let's keep moving. I'm doing random streams of consciousness right now. Drifting in and out of reality. But we got us a diamond card. I like the looks of this. What's hiding out here? Live Dansby Swanson. Okay, good looking first base card or shortstop card, I should say. Hang on. He's a 90. Now, am I already sitting a, a historic shortstop out there? Let me, let me go take a look and see because I think I want to keep this card. Yes, I do. I definitely want to keep this card. So let's jump out for a second. We'll go take a look at who I've got at short to see, to try to figure out if Mr. Swanson is going to have a place on this team. Okay, let's look at my lineup and roster. There we go. Okay, so looking at shortstops. Tinker is my only natural shortstop, and I'm fairly sure I'm fairly sure that Jeff McNeil is backing up for him. Yes, he is. Yeah, Jeff McNeil is a backup at short. Okay. Nothing here otherwise. Nothing here at all otherwise. Okay. Let's keep going. Back to packs.
Okay. Hey, here we go. We got us a good sim coming in. What are we going to cook with here? We're we going to get out of this one game losing streak. And yes, we did. We took game three away from the Iron Maiden Wicker, Wicker Men. So we are looking good to starting up our win streak again. And I'm sure that we have increased our league standing here. And we are now still four and a half games away from Mississauga. But I took one off the wild card. I dare say the wild card is down to like five or six. I'll, I'll go ahead and say six just to be generous, okay? Keep on a moving. Because if you can't tell already, the old fart's a little bit tired today. I, I'm going to try my best not to fall asleep on you. Okay, there's that bronze I need to open up and get into. Let's get back to the pack ripping. We've got 59 packs to go and only half an hour to get them done. Okay. And if we have anybody to raid into, I, I think Ukraine Kazami is going to be on at uh, 9 o'clock p.m. So I should be able to raid directly into her channel. So we'll check out uh, Yuka to see if she is live come 9 p.m. Eastern and go with the flow. Okay, 59 packs to go. Let's get into it. Let's go, baby. I want to see some good cards. We've seen a few good ones so far. We can afford to see more. See more. Remember the old junior high jokes about Seymour? The, all, the, all those crazy book titles? Under the Bleachers by Seymour Butts. The Yellow Stream by IP Freely. Okay. Hey, first time to the uh, to the team for Mr. Peraza, Oswald Peraza. Okay, so we keep him. He brings New York's live level two up to 81%. Let's go. We're picking up live Yankees that are expensive as all holy hell. He's got an L10 of almost 1.7K. Let's go, baby. And look at I got my second Topps Bunt card. My second Topps Bunt. Okay. And my dream bracket is now 4%. Hmm, nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's keep on a moving. Let's go, baby. That We get two decent cards off the Topps Bunt Mission. Okay, nothing much here that I can see that's any good. 55 packs to go. We have just a few minutes left until our final ad break of the day. I'd say about eight minutes. We'll take care of that. Otherwise, nothing here. Another new follow. Oh, Nersha rating the channel with 21 viewers. Thank you so much, Nersha Bainko, for your raid on the channel. We greatly appreciate it. I don't even have to ask you if you had a great stream because I know you had a great stream. That's where I was tuned in earlier today before my very own streaming time. So I know you had yourself a fantastic stream. Thank you so much for, uh, for the raid once more. And welcome to all you raiders, all 21 of you. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy your stay today. We're opening packs up on my main team, the Finneytown Flames, and trying to find cards to improve my team, either through mission completion or by any other means necessary. So we have 54 packs left to open up in the remaining half hour we have left in our stream. So let's get back to pack ripping. And we got us a good looking uh, iron card there in Dan Petrie, except my team here, the Flames, they play in bronze tournaments, okay? And I might have to take another time out here to go spam another bronze tournament, come to think of it. Okay? Nothing new here. This Roy Cullenbine card, I recommend wholeheartedly. If you play bronze tournaments and you don't play this Cullenbine card, you're killing yourself. You need it. Look at the power on this guy. He's got OP power. He may not hit for average, but when he does get hold of the ball, boom, it's gone. So Roy Cullenbine, a very popular card in bronze tournaments and his three figure l10 kind of uh kind of tells the story there he's got a three figure l10 okay let's keep on moving the reds tony santion back there robert suarez he's a duplicate i can sell this guy somebody that needs a san san diego silver card to complete He's got an 1135 L10, but somebody wants to sell him for 1.9. I see another sell here that's a little bit cheaper than the 1.9. We're going to put this card up 
for, let's say, 10, uh, let's go 1049. 1049 will get you a Robert Suarez card so that we beat this buy order here. I don't know whose buy order this is. This might be one of you guys. I don't know. But I'm going to beat that buy order and beat all of these other sell, uh, the sell order. And we're going to beat the L10 with this 1049 asking price for Robert Suarez duplicate or else I'd hang on to him because we're not done with San Diego level two yet. But he is a dupe, so it won't hurt me to sell him. He's now out there on the market for the best price. Okay, 51 packs to go. Okay, come on, I clicked you, let's go. Nothing new here, not even any silvers. No silvers here either. Marty Patton, I took a look at once for my bronze team. Didn't keep him there. Hmm, okay. Got some tasty looking iron cards for other teams. Because this team here plays bronze. We do play a few iron cards, but like Dave Kingman? Come on, give me a break. Hey, gold card, gold card. And we got two silvers in here. Let's go. Let us continue to go. Okay. What's the gold card? Historical? Nah. Liam Hendricks, the object of many a uh, baseball fans' prayer with his recent cancer diagnosis. So wishing Mr. Liam nothing but the very, very best in his recovery and treatment of his disease. He's an 87 gold right now. He's not a uh, duplicate. And we're keeping him even though we have the White Sox completed. You never know when he's going to be able to come up in another mission. What about Salvi Perez? Live silver. He's a first timer. And his mission is also done, but he's also a first timer to the to the team. So even though the missions are complete, just like Liam Hendricks, their missions are done. These missions are done, but we're keeping him. The Mike Henneman card, on the other hand, he's a first timer as well with a much less lucrative L10. But we're still going to keep him in lieu of a second mission. OK, I'm sorry, or, 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 that, uh, holding him on for speculation purposes for a future mission let's put it that way see i'm getting so tired my tongue's tripping all over okay and if you understood that you're a better man than i am let's go get some good looking cards here come on show me some good cards oh not here not this pack not this pack next pack please no goodies here either no goodies here at all okay let's keep moving and certainly no goodies here. No silvers that I can sell. Gold card. Okay, we ask and you shall receive. Eventually it happens. Hiding out here is a another sad uh, injury tale with Mr. Gavin Lux. Out for the entire year. Ah, the Dodger fans are in mourning over his lost year. But he is, I'm pretty sure, a duplicate. No, he is not a duplicate. And I've only got Los Angeles level two up to 79% with the acquisition of Mr. Lux. So go have a seat over on the bench, Gavin, and we will use you when it comes time to finishing the Dodgers live level two mission. Okay. Double gold. Woo. I almost reached the same note as the trumpet, trumpet player in this song. I can't get up that high anymore. Slim Sally, first time in this game cycle. Let's go, 84 gold. Nice, nice historic gold. What have we here? Another nice historic, please, 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 please. Ask and you shall receive. Historic Dusty Baker. Who doggies. Okay. Nice center field card. So I got me two historic golds. Neither one of them have a mission yet, but they're both first timers to the collection. So we're hanging on to both of them. And I think you know another reason why I'm enthusiastic to get, to get that middle historic gold up there is because I still have here in the Gorgo Man Cave the only one of my bobbleheads that I brought up from my historic archives down in the messy basement. That's what it's otherwise known as. It's otherwise, if it, it has a little bit more of an honorable name, if I call it my historical archives, it's otherwise known as a messy basement. And I only have one bobblehead up here. 
What bobblehead is it? It's a bobblehead that chews these toothpicks in this red cup, okay? And the toothpick chewer is none other than this guy, Dusty Baker, okay? From his Reds managerial days, and his little cup goes right here on the bobblehead, on the base of the bobblehead right there. You know, when I go to grab the bobblehead, I need to grab the cup first so that the toothpicks, even though they are still wrapped in their original plastic, don't go flying every which way but loose. But Dusty Baker is my bobblehead that's sitting here in the man cave. And I'm going to set him over to the side, hopefully to an unobtrusive side out of the way of the camera and out of the way of my of my mitts oh i didn't break him okay good 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 he fell over he, i put him on something unbalanced okay we have 40 packs to go and it's time for our final ad break so before we go rip in the next packs let's go ahead and take a quick one minute break and get, because i do need to go to another room for uh that about most of that minute i won't even have a chance to catch up with chat so anyway why don't we go ahead and take our next ad break and I'll go take care of some business and we'll be back and I'll take a very quick look at chat and we'll finish ripping packs and then we'll go raid Yukon Kazami and her stream. Okay, final ad break of the day. Please stay tuned for this word from our sponsors. Okay, gang, we are back from our final ad break of the day. And yes, those were two sweet pulls in those two golds that I pulled out of that last pack. I was uh, kind of savoring those packs a little bit. I did have a chance to take a quick look at the chat. I didn't miss very much. And what I did miss was basically, uh, you know, fairly routinely covered stuff. Okay, no silvers here to think about. Masahiro Tanaka with uh with the yankees nice snapshot card there okay nothing new here either let's keep moving hey there's a silver juan yepes and he's a dupe i can sell him he's going to be worth some money with the st louis cardinals he's got an l10 of 825 someone wants to buy him for 500 we are going to beat that okay and this will be the only yepes card out on the market this will be the only Yep, S card out there. There's no nothing out here in the way of a sell order. Okay, so this one will be the only one of these. So you'll only have this chance to get him if indeed you are the lucky person to get him. And we're going to knock 80 off of that 825 and get you down to 745, which is going to be the asking price for this Juan Yepes card. Okay, he is now on the market. Go get him if you need him for the best price. In fact, the only price available, but we still beat L10. Okay, next pack, please. Another silver, Jeffrey Springs, and he's a keeper. And there's another silver, Javi Baez, both of them first timers. Okay, so Javi Baez, his Detroit mission is done. The Tampa Bay Rays mission is now up to 89%. Let's go. Okay. Oh, and Sam LaCure. Ha. Ah, this guy sometimes spends time in the Reds radio booth. He, he's a, a frequent guest appearance uh, member on the uh, uh, baseball broadcasts with 
the Cincinnati Reds. He likes to visit the Reds radio booth, and they love having him. Sam LeCure is a quality dude. I'm always glad to uh, get to hear him on, on the a ra radio or TV airwaves whenever he's lucky enough to visit the booth. So that's a good, good card. I'm glad to have required it for my collection. Let's keep on moving. 36 packs to go. We have a pile of silver packs plus a bunch of gold packs at the end of this today. Oh, there's another good Reds card, TJ Antone from only three seasons ago. Okay, TJ Antone, 46 iron card. Okay, decent card. Let's keep moving. Reds, Tony Santion. Okay, silver, Shea Langoliers, and he's a keeper, but Oakland's already done, so that, that's nothing new there. Okay, nothing new here either or here or here gold card gold card what have we got here it is a josh naylor from up the road up i-71 in cleveland with the guardians okay so he is a dupe i'm fairly sure we've already got cleveland's mission done in fact i've got the entire division of the al central it has been done 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 Okay, so we are going to put up a sell order for Mr. Naylor. And I do believe, okay, but between these two, okay, his, uh, he's got a 2300 sell order out there, which is actually the lowest. 2395 versus 1001. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll make sure that the, whoever gets this card has a little bit of skin in the game. It's only going to cost you, though, $1599. $15.99, which is higher than this buy order here, and it's still lower than everything else. So it's right there in the sweet spot for beating all of the price points, and we are going to sell Mr. Josh Naylor here shortly for $15.99. He's on the market. Go get him if you need him. Okay, 29 packs to go. Another silver card, Nolan Gorman. Duplicate, we can sell him. He's going to get sold. And I do believe, I do believe, I do believe that I was going to sing again. But no, not this time. Someone wants to sell him for 2K. L10 is $14.83. Someone wants to buy him for $9.50. Hmm. Let's put him up for $11.99. $11.99 will get you a Nolan Gorman card. Cheaper than anybody else on the market by, look at here, 800 perfect points. I'm beating the total hell out of this sell order, okay? My sell order beats your sell order, okay? And nothing new. Oh, hey, Zach Eflin, and he's not a dupe. And I, that brings Tampa Bay up to 93%. Let's go, baby. 93% on Tampa Bay. That means I think I only have one more card to acquire for Tampa Bay, and they are Dunskis. Okay. And here's a whole lot of nothing. Let's keep going. Gold card. Gold card. Can you be a Tampa Bay gold card by chance, please? Close enough. New York Yankees. Clay Holmes, he brings the, the Yankees now up to 85%. Let's go, baby. Let's go. 85% done on the Yankees, and those cards are always high in price. Yankee cards with their high demand always happens. Brand new follow from Nun Company, N-O-N-E, or N1 Company. Thank you so much for your follow on the channel. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we have a silver here with Mr. Joe Musgrove, and we can sell this guy. He is part of San Diego Live, and we are going to put up a sell for him because he'd be a dupe for me. I do not need this card. And it looks as if I'm going to put him up for a really good price. We're going to put him up. To beat the buy order, I'm going to take it to 999 Okay. 999 perfect points will get you a Joe Musgrove if you need him for San Diego's live level one or level two or both missions. Okay, there he is. He's out the door. Okay, let's keep on a moving. 
Nothing new here. Okay. Willie Mo Pena oh, from his Reds days. Yeah. It's diamond card. A diamond card. Diamonds are her girl's best friend. Okay. Whatever. That was lousy. Whoa. Check it out. Aaron Hill. 90 gold second baseman with a 93 defense. Let's freaking go. Someone wants to sell him for 12K. His L10 is 10.2K. Woohoo! Someone wants to buy him for 6,500. I think that I might have just picked up a new second baseman. We will see. It's he, he's gonna have a, have to go a little ways to beat Rennie Stennett though. Rennie Stennett's defense at second base is pretty decent. Okay, but we'll see when the time comes. At, uh, at once we're off stream, what I'll do is once I get the raid completed on Yuka, I'm gonna go compare my Rennie Stennett diamond card with that Aaron Hill diamond card and see which one of them is going to be my starting second baseman. Okay. Alrighty, nothing new here. Let's keep on moving. Gold card. The luck is rolling today. And check it out. Another Yepes card. Okay. Willie Adamas live. And he, okay, we already had Milwaukee done. In fact, we've got the entire NL Central done to the best of my knowledge. So that one is is a done deal. Juan Yepes, another duplicate. Okay, so we sold one. We sold one. I got to look here. Sold him for, well, no, let's see. No, I think the last one got sold. The last one got sold. But this one's going to go for 740. This one's going to go for 740. Oh, no, no, no. 730. Sorry, my, my bad, my bad. 730. I'm taking 80 off of the 800 series card 80 coming off that to bring us down to 730 730 will buy you this Juan Yepes card and he is now on the market for the best price available okay let's keep on to moving it's not looking too bad today a hey, B Phil B who's from your hometown I guess I missed it sorry I missed it who's from your hometown Nothing in this pack. Okay. Watching to see if uh, B Phil B comes back in with an answer. Nothing new here. Who is from your hometown? Willie Mo Pena, maybe? Because we talked about him a little bit. Nothing new here. Keep going. 15 packs to go. Diamond card. What do we got hiding out here? Live Alex Bregman. Yes, yes, yes. And he's a third baseman with only 64 defense. I already had the astronomicals done. So we'll still keep him. He's still a keeper. Okay, 14 packs to go. Monty Irvin. I wish I was playing uh, uh, Iron Tournaments now instead of Bronze. Ooh, John Garland, what a pickup. Okay, that card is decent for bronze tournaments. I am here to tell you right this minute. You want this John Garland card? In fact, look at the L10 on him. I'm going to sell him. I'm going to sell him for somebody that wants a bronze 69 John Garland card, a legend card with the Chicago Pale Hose, okay? Someone wants to buy him for 33 The L10 is 75 we're going to take it down to 69 perfect points to buy John Garland, okay? This card is now on the market. Go get him if you need him. That's a good bronze card. I wholeheartedly recommend it, okay? Another silver here, Mr. Daniel Bard, and another live silver, Eduardo Escobar. Escobar is a duplicate. Bard is not a duplicate because... He brings the name game Daniel up to 71%. Let's go. Otherwise, he's done with the lives. What about Mr. Escobar? He's a duplicate. And his original copy helps keep the Metropolitans in the 70% range. So we're going to sell this Escobar card. And it looks as if he's going to go up. Uh, I'm, uh, let's see. That, that sell order looks like a little bit of a gouge to me. Looks very much like a gouge to me. E even the 2888 looks like a gouge to me. 
I feel like I'm gouging asking more than L10, but I'm going to ask for a little bit more than L10 to beat, still beat the pants off of these buy, uh, these sell orders here. I've, I'm ahead of this one by 1700 and this one by nearly 1600 okay? That's a lot of perfect points, considering how many cards like this are on the market. So we are selling Mr. Escobar for $12.99, by far the best price on the market. Even though I'm going a little bit higher than L10, it's still a good price. It's still the best one on the market. So Escobar is up for sale. Go get him if you need him. Okay. Alrighty. And I think we're starting to get down towards the end. Uh, this is where our diamond packs. I'm sorry, not our diamond packs, but our silver packs are. And ending with some gold packs. Okay. Richard Blyer is a duplicate. And we already have Boston already done. So we are going to put this one up for sale also. And I think if that $14.99 is what holds true and $9.50 holds true here, let's put this one up for $12.99. This one will be the best price on the market and will beat this buy order as well. $12.99 for Mr. Blyer's card. Okay, he is now out there. Okay. Let's keep on moving. I think we're still in silver packs, and yes, we apparently are. Mr. Massey, duplicate. I already have KC completed, so we are going to put this one up. Oh, gosh, look at this. This is a low L10 for this guy. There must be a gazillion of him out on the market. I'm, I'm only going to ask for 137 for this card. 137 and he may not even sell at that because uh, I think there's a pretty heavy market for him to have an L10 that low for a live silver. Yeah, you know what I mean? Okay, and there's another live silver, Mr. Brandon Belt. Okay, and he is a dupe, so we'll sell him. And I do believe he is going to go for 10.99. 10.99 for Mr. Brandon Belt. Okay. He is out the door. Best price. Okay. Next silver card, please. Must not have been so. Oh, yeah, it is a silver pack. Okay. Jose Canseco Silver Historical. Yes, let's go. We're keeping him. Okay. We're keeping him for future considerations, for speculation. Okay. Seven packs to go. And the diamond or the silver here belongs to. Kybert Ruiz, okay, nice looking card, and he's a duplicate, we can sell him as well, so Kybert is going up for sale, and I do believe, look at the L10 just dropping the floor out from underneath of him, all right, 249 looks to be the lowest sell order, so we're going to go 229, 229 is going to be the asking price for Mr. Kybert Ruiz, okay, he is now on the market, Six packs to go. And there's another silver card, Luis Gonzalez. Okay, good to see him. Okay. Mm hmm. I wonder if that's the other Luis Gonzalez's son. Let me go. And I can take a moment. Oh, no, I, I don't have time. I was going to go over to Baseball Reference and try to find if this Luis Gonzalez, because he bears a very strong resemblance to the historical Luis Gonzalez. Does anybody in chat know? Okay. Is this Gonzalez, okay, <laughs> is this Gonzalez a son of the historic Luis Gonzalez? Okay. Because the resemblance is pretty striking. Historic Bruce Dal Canton. Let's go, baby. Keeping this one. Okay. He's not going up for sale. Four packs to go. Are we into gold territory yet? No, but we're still on historic silver. And this card is worth a nice little piece, about 752. First timer to the collection, so we're hanging on to him. We be hanging on to him. Here's our first gold pack, okay? Behind the gold curtain is Rich Harden. Let's go, baby. That card isn't in any missions right now, but he's eventually going to be. So that's a decent card, historic gold. We've got a nice set of historic golds that we picked up today. Reaver San Martin with the Reds. Live Christian Javier, and I can sell this guy because I already have the astronomicals done. And I think we're going to sell Christian Javier for 
$12.99 will get you a Christian Javier card, okay? Best price on the market by far, and he is now out there to be had, okay? Last pack before we set up a raid for Yuka. Gold card belonging to... And they're in Ciarte with the Atlanta Braves legend card, peak legend card, 85. Woo! Let's go, baby. Look at his center field defense. hi 110. Look at that center field insane gold defense. And the hitting profile is not too half bad either. 72 contact versus 27 power. That card will hit for you. So if you play gold tournaments or some sort of cap tournament where you have a need for a nice high performing mid range gold card, this one looks like the card for you for center field. Okay, so excellent, excellent value that we've gotten out of our packs today. Let's check and see if any missions got completed. Right now I'm doubting it that anything really got done. So I'm gonna go in completion. For, yes, I did get something done. I got two of them done. The, the Topps Bunt and the Lavelle Bronze Lock. Yes, because of build a lineup. So let's go ahead and complete this Topps Bunt Redemption. And we get the silver pack out of this. This will go towards this coming Wednesday's pack rip. Somebody bought the Escobar, okay? And somebody bought the Massey. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up this Bunt mission. And that is now good. So I've got a code to go get rewards. If I go into Tops Bunt, I'm pretty sure that this code is not going to help me any because I think it's only one per license, if I remember right. Okay, because 100,000 points or 100,000 coins in Tops Bunt is a hell of a lot of coins. And I don't think they want to give that out more than once per license as opposed to once per, per uh, account. Okay, that you have in OOTP. I'm fairly sure that's how it's going to work. But I'll be looking at that one later to see if I can maybe redeem some goodies out of it. The bronze lock on Mr. Lavelle. Okay, I get a standard pack for this to complete him. So I'm locking the bronze card and that card is now duly done. Now, where do I stand in terms of his missions? Okay, there is Lavelle's mission. Lavelle's mission, the silver unlock. Okay, I'm looking for his bronze mission. Lavelle, Lavelle, Lavelle. Where is he? I didn't pass him by, did I? Where is he? Kybert Ruiz sold. I missed him. Where is Lavelle? Looking for Lavelle. Lavelle. No, wrong Lavelle. Oh, wait, here we go. He's only got five more cards to pick up. Hmm. With that 12K that I've got in my treasury, I think I can afford five packs or five cards. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy. Let's, go, let's get the five cheapest ones. Starting with this guy. And we'll get 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 this guy. Now let's go get his silver card. Okay. Let's get that silver. Okay. Okay. Silver unlock. Okay. There's the card. Okay. Nice. Now, his silver mission. Is his silver mission out there? I don't think it's silver mission. Yes, it's so that only the silver unlock. There's no silver mission available yet to move him up to a gold card. So I guess when the gold card comes out, then that's when we will see the silver uh, missions to build up. Because otherwise, all I have for uh, achievements other than actually getting the build and lineup cards, I've only got the live missions. I'm sorry, the uh, the bronze missions on those build and lineup cards. I do not have silver missions yet. So anyway, long way around the horn, we be done for today. So let's get ready and we're going to go see 
what Ms. Yuka is up to, okay? Because I'm going to check her channel to make sure. You just won the 7878? All right, Brennan, congratulations, buddy. You won the one that I got knocked out of, and you did not have a direct hand in it, but you won it. Congrats. Congrats. And enjoy those three packs. I hope you get some real good... Oh, no relation between the Gonzalez's. Thank you there, oof. Okay. They, I think the one is maybe an intentional or maybe unintentional look-alike for the other Luis. <laughs> Hard to say. Hard to say. But uh, but the congrats on that. Brennick, I'm glad to see that you won it. Enjoy those three packs. Enjoy them. Hey, and Brennick1107 just pulled a perfect boog. Let's go. Woohoo. Woohoo. For Brennick1111. Brennick, okay. Let's see. Brennick. Okay. B. Phil B. never told me who was from his hometown. Because I, I missed it when uh, uh, when he said it while I was talking about somebody. And there's still a little bit of a delay between the time that I say something and I actually see it in chat. There's like a 7 to 10 second delay. So I could have been talking about two or three different people in that 10 seconds. <laughs> Hard to say. So I, uh, that's one of the reasons I need to ask. But congrats on that. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. He won a tournament and he got a perfect boog pal. Brennick 1111, the bill's in the mail, buddy. <laughs> I want a piece of that action. The bill is in the mail. <laughs> of course, I'm only kidding, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to run out and take a quick look in Twitch land and make sure that uh, Yuka is out there doing her stream, okay? Checking it out. Checking it out. And... Spore is live right now, and so is Yuka. So we are going to be raiding Yuka and Kazami, okay? Be ready. I'm going to get myself to a good screen here where I can set this up. And here we are. We're ready to set you up. Oh, Brennick1107, you are a subscriber. Yes, yes, okay. Congrats on that. Fantastic. So we are going to go. Oh, okay. You've already paid your bill there, Brennick. <laughs> Okay, forget it. I won't write up a bill. <laughs> He's already paid his bill. He subscribes to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you're just getting some goodies in re in return. I'm glad to be able to, to help you out with a little of that luck. Okay? So I'm going to raid. Did I spell it right? I think I did. Okay, be ready. Here we go. Okay, we're going to send a number of folks over to see Yuka here. And the raid is picking up steam. We have three seconds, two seconds. We're going to send 59 people over to see Yuka and Kazami on her channel. Tonight, if, you, if you've never seen Yuka on a Saturday night, she does something called Baseball Bingo. It's entertaining as all get out. It, it's a lot of fun. And uh, as she goes through different things that happened to her in a franchise mode season and uh, like things like um, she uh, hears some nonsense from the team owner. So, uh, the team owner says something totally out of whack or the team owner is uh, uh, disciplining her as a manager. OK, some things of that nature. There are all kinds of things all over the bingo card for different things. So as they happen in the course of her um, uh, simulation on franchise mode where she's uh, simulating a season. She's looking for things to happen over that season that will get somebody a bingo, okay? And I, I'm not too sure if I remember this right, but I think that the first person to cry out bingo and, it, and is definitely a winner, confirmed as a winner, they win some sort of a prize, I think, which may be very much in, in order. But in any event, Let's go ahead and go send everybody over to see Yuka and Kazami. Give her all the Gorgo love that you can. And we will catch you guys later in this. <laughs>